Welcome back to Make Up with Sinead in her dressing gown. Oh, of course, oh, I forgot I was wearing a dressing gown. This is the best thing in the world. Love it. Yes, that's so much better. Hair under control. Nice. Okay, we're going in for a sunset eyes. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for thank you for watching. Thank you. I really do appreciate this. Um, I'm not trying to make anything out of this. All I want is to see a smile. Um, and if it turns into something, it does. It's great. But don't forget to smile at a stranger. Okay, so yellow, go for it. Bash that on the crease, start it off. Nice, all the way up. Don't worry about it being messy. We can clear it off after with a baby wipe. Baby wipes are my best friend. I have about four packets lying around the house so I can always find one. But I normally end up going to my flatmate. Thank you, Jen. Love you. I did this earlier with my mum. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I'm really nervous for this video for some reason. So I'm going to be talking real fast, talking a lot of shit, and shaking a lot. It's great, don't we just love anxiety? <laughs> oh. Also, for some reason, it's freezing in this house, so you can see my breath. I don't care. Oh, oh on that crease again. And then again, all the way up, all the way up, following the shape of my eyebrow because I don't want to be going too far out and up. So this is just my base, sticking a bit of colour there. Do need to slow down a little bit. There is some artwork needed and I have no art skills whatsoever. Okay, so -da. there we go. Nice, bright yellow eyes. A little bit odd, but I'm going to add some more yellow on after. So this is just to start with. Next one, slightly angled pointed brush. I'm going to give that a clean. As I mentioned, I did this with my mum earlier. So I've got the red on there that we're not ready for. So just to give you a heads up, the colours that we're going to be using. I just use this one, bright yellow. The next one I'm going to use is this gold yellow. Just close to the eyebrow. I'm going to do my eyebrows first, obviously. And then we've got this purple here. Beautiful, beautiful. Third one along. Bright purple. And then this red. And then to blend it, this red just above the silver. And then, <laughs> this is going to be lengthy. I'm sorry in advance. We've then got the gold here. And some silver for the inside of the edges. My mum did that on her eyes as well. It looked beautiful. It's a, a look that I did before. Before. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, it just looks really pretty and makes me feel really good. So hopefully it makes you feel good too. So um, completely forgot what I said I was going to do right now. My eyebrows is what I'm going to start with. So my angled brush. I need a baby wipe. I don't know why I don't have one already. I'm going to start with a dark colour first. And I'm going to start on the outside, get that point going first of all. I've mentioned in one of my videos, I go straight up and straight down. My mum does a nice curve for her eyebrow um, and she's got like a thicker bit at the start as well. So we a little bit different, but hers almost look like twins. Mine, sisters, yeah, you're not going to get them twins. We've tried. Too hard. Wow, if my hand could stop shaking, that would be great. So as you can see, it's just a bit darker than my actual eyebrow just adding on to it you don't need to you don't need to go OTT 
you don't need to go OTT. You don't need makeup on at all. You know, you are beautiful the way that you look. But if you can accentuate your own looks, why not? <laughs> not that you can see it too well but my hairs go in all different directions which i get as a genetic thing passed down from the family thanks nan hi your auntie um all over the place so by using some sort of wax kind of gel at least i can try and smooth it down a little bit so i started off with a darker color i'm now using the lighter wax and this is where i get to have a little bit of fun I'm going to make a little bit more of a shape with my eyebrows, so I'm going to come nice and close to you guys. Oh, you, oh. sorry. New phone as well. Sorry, Grandpa. Okay, I'm going to use the even closer bit of the mirror. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> That's weird. Sorry, I got distracted by something shiny. That happens a lot. Okay, right, steady, 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 top, back again, bad idea, but we're doing it anyway. I've got a bit of a bump there now, but that's all right, we'll get that fixed. If you do make a mistake, you've got baby wipes, as I said, best friend, or just add to it. Go with it. It's never a mistake in makeup. Some people hate that the saying everything happens for a reason. But in makeup, make it happen for a reason. Give it a purpose. This looks like it's going to be way too high. But I do have a pack of baby wipes next to me because I am prepared. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. <laughs> Very high eyebrows today. Hmm. That will do. I'm going to do the other one. Bear with us. It's not going right. It's just not. Okay. So looking closer at it, we've got some weird shapes going on. Breathe. Don't let the makeup stress you out. The makeup is there to make you feel better. Let's go for this again. So I'm going to go for the bottom line. Let's see how low the eyebrow wants to be. All I can imagine right now is one of the professional makeup artists watching this and commenting on how many mistakes I am making. But it's okay. I have not studied. I do not plan to study it. I just like to feel pretty. Just like most girls, I guess. Feminines. Most feminines. You don't have to be a girl to like makeup. In fact, I'm really hoping... That someone special in my life will let me co-star them. That'll be good. Well, there's been a couple of people I've asked. And any improvements that you can think of, give it to me. I'm already looking into getting good lighting. Looking into getting a tripod as well. And hopefully, find some music that I can play in the background so I don't have to keep relying off the Wi Fi to listen to music that you can't hear. Okay, the good thing from far away is it looks fine. That's all that matters. No one's seeing me close up. It's COVID. Woohoo! Um, okay, good for the eyebrows. Next, I'm going to carry on with the eyes. But you might fall again, so hold on tight, I guess. The same brush that I use for my eyebrow is what I want to use for the under the eyebrow as well. So that's the gold colour that I showed. 
just next to the yellow not sparkle sparkle just yet but still very lovely i will show you on the brush first of all here we are nice and coated i'm going to give it a blow because i don't want any fallout on the mirror okay i'm just going to go onto the eyebrow just as i would with a highlighter i did this with my mum earlier like this because she doesn't have any highlighter and again as i said she looked amazing and i got a message from her as well that she felt amazing today and it's brilliant that's exactly what i want to hear thank you thank you so much mummy bear yes i call my mum mummy bear what about it catch me outside how about that the other girl did it so much better stop concentrate and concentrate but it's shiny Love it, love it, love it. Nice. So I'm finishing off and just joining up from my eye under my eyebrow to where the makeup, the yellow I did earlier. And again. I didn't blow it. <laughs> Better late than never. It's not on time. It's always good. You will get fired. Okay. Now the only thing that I'm seeing missing is I need some more at the start. So we're going to go from the top of this eyebrow part here. And go down... And again, a professional is going to say, I probably shouldn't do it like this. But death. <laughs> Just giving it a shape that I want. I like a really natural face, um, which is a long time coming because I've always hated my freckles. It's not offensive to any other one else with freckles. It's just my own. Um... But that's all of us. We all have insecurities and we're all vulnerable. And when you can accept those vulnerabilities, it's when life gets a bit better. So I'm going to blend that in with the yellow brush that I used earlier. I'm then going to clear the brush and just get this part blended in as well. To please, hopefully, professional makeup artist. Guys happy? <laughs> Oh, two. Okay. Nice. Very yellow. Let's just get this a bit more cosy, warm. <clears throat> I love it. Oh, I'm so stiff and old and grey. Oh. And the next colour I said when my cherry comes back around is purple. Um, I'm going to do the angle brush that I have put over here this time. So the angled brush, purple, I usually go from the corner to out, but instead I'm just going to follow my crease and then find the point. So crease, and then dab, mainly focusing on the mid eye to outer eye. A little bit more. And up. Okay. And then. Following the bottom of where this eyeshadow is already gone. Out and up, out and up. 
got some darker shadow on the outside which will either get blended in or maybe wiped off I think we're going to blend it in give me that point nice don't worry about this one too much this is just an under uh, give it a bit of darkness to it um, the dark to the sunset but I do want a good coverage on there as well okay now for the other eye sorry there we go mid eye around down <laughs> what have I done? Oh, wow. Okay. Just doing my best. That's it. Living my best life. Doing my best job. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's just chuck this on now. <laughs> um yeah it'll do it'll do okay this brush da -da 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 -da. get that nice and off and are you gonna stay you will okay good so two up from the red sparkly give that a nice I'm going to go from the outside to in. Following mainly the top line, top part of the purple. So the purple stays closer to the bottom. That's gone really, really good. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers now. I can't. I hope you're crossing your fingers for me because this eye needs to go all right. Otherwise, out comes the baby wipe. Okay, that's not too bad. A better lighting would be so much better. But that's okay. Mental notes as well. Which wasn't a mental note self because it was said out loud, but I've got no filter. And the next one is this red that's just above the silver. Just to go through the middle of what I've already done there. When I say the middle, I mean as close to following what I've already done. And again. Okay. Someone didn't cross their fingers because this... There's not a point. It's fine. It doesn't matter. What I want to do now is blend it to make it look as faded as possible. So let's go from this eye first. Blend it. Just that top line there. And again. Should have cleaned the brush before swapping eyes, but that's fine. It's going all right. Okay, the final thing that I want to do, as I mentioned, get some more yellow on there. And I'm going to go over the top of it to just get them as close to each other and blending as possible. And again. Take it off and mix it in. I really like the sunset kind of colours we've got going there. It's a little bit odd. So what I'm going to do is get the angled brush and just add where I feel like we're missing some. The angled brush I've not long used purple on. Thank you brain for remembering because <laughs> that would have been very dark otherwise. And I'm going to go for the red that is top above the red sparkles if you're using the same palette of course otherwise it's just the first red that you did and i'm gonna carefully 
follow the crease. I am definitely not going to take up ventriloquism because I cannot talk without moving my mouth. There we go. Happy with that. One thing I have noticed while I've been yappering away and talking is I've got it all over my face. And if I rub that in, <laughs> it's just going to be bright red cheeks, redder than they already are. This is just embarrassment. I have crippling stage fright, as anyone who knows me knows. And if you see my other YouTube channel, hopefully you don't find it. But I'll leave that to you guys. Um, okay. So I've done the colours I wanted. Um, I'm now going to go on to the sparkles. Um, and the way I'm going to do that, the way that we learned earlier would be best to get everyone to do it if you don't have primer, is going back to the Nivea again. Gets me excited. Um, tiny little pea drop on the back of my hand probably less than a pea and I'm going to grab the angled brush make sure it's clear first which it is and then just dab dab so you can see it's white on there and then dab it again until it goes clear there we are it's clear clearish but I can see that there's product on there so I'm going to just follow the oval of my eye There we go. And then just up this way a little bit as well. And then the best one to put on the glitter with is not out. Sorry, it's behind you. Excuse me, just reaching past. No, you're not it. I mean, you might be useful. Hmm, this one just around the top so to get this glitter I'm going to stroke down a little bit get a bit of a, a build up and then just pat it down either side and do it again until you've got a layer of glitter on either side and then Let's not dip the hair in the colours. I've just put moisturiser in my hair. It's fine, it's fine. We can just have another shower. Okay. One side. Dab, 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 dab. Starting from the middle. And then the other side. Dab, dab, dab. Going into the inner eye. Dab, dab, dab. Coming onto the outer. Need some more glitter because it's all gone from the brush. Here we go. Rub it again. Dab, 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 dab. For me, more glitter is better. I love the... I love this. I love it. I got it as a secret Santa gift. And I, I want to thank Lily for it. Unfortunately, I deleted Facebook. We don't talk anymore. But Lily, you're a godsend. Thank you. Almost done with this eye. Lovely. Now looking at it, I do want to add some more purple. So the brush that I've got purple and red on, and I'm just going to follow this line up. Here we go. Nice. So the reason why I do it like this as well is for you guys who can't and don't want to do the liquid eyeliner, you don't have to, but I just find it does it a little bit better. So I'm going to do that magic trick again where I make both eyes look the same in a matter of two seconds. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> um, I know, shocking, isn't it? Um, we've got both eyes looking as similar as possible. Um, every time I look, there's just more that I want to do. So, again, I'm going to add red, um, both reds this time, um, both the, the dull but sparkly one and the 
more luminescent one. Give that a blow. And then I'm just going to follow the top of the red. Dab it a little bit. Not too much close to the glitter because the glitter is a perfect colour. I don't want to taint it. <sighs> Almost forgot. Okay. Blend that with each other. This eye looks better. We'll, we'll 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 go with this eye. This one's good. <laughs> um, as long as they look somewhat similar, that's all that matters. Let's rub that moisturizer in before it ends up in my hair again. Uh, just give it a little bit more of a blend together. Okay, and that's that done. Now the last bit that I want to do is with the moisturizer again. What well, my mum figured out before I even gave her the hint to earlier is the tear duct. So the top and bottom. How am I going to angle this? There. So that's just a bit of moisturiser. And I'm going to use this brush. The same as the other one that I use for the glitter, but just slightly smaller for the silver glitter. Just on the tip of this one though. And then dab it again. Dab, 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 dab. On the top. I'm happy with that. The only thing that I want to do now is add my eyeliner. Um, and I might as well do that looking into the into the camera. The only problem with the moisturizer is that it leaves my hand a little bit too greasy to be able to open things. All right, okay, focus. Straight line. Every time I move you, I'm just filling in the more liquid. Right. Okay. I'm happy with that as well. So I've just done a line going upwards. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it in whatever shape you want to. It's your eye and no one can tell you no <laughs> um i've been told too many times that less is more but with liquid eyeliner you definitely need to make sure that you put on enough liquid for coverage i'm just going to add a tiny little bit more in the corner here oh wait uh tried to be too cliche and messed it up but I don't know how to edit so that's fine but here we are keeping it real um both sides are looking the same as possible now I'm going to add the fake lashes so the freak out's finished and the way that I do my eyelashes is I get some glue I've mentioned this in another video before is glue other side and just go along the lash with the glue, adding some just from the rim with the scraper, spreading it like butter, but just not tasty, sticky butter. Stick that back away, wait for them to dry. Um, I like to give my eyelashes a bit of a curl first as well, but 
I was unprepared for my lashes. I always tell myself I'm not going to put on the fake lashes. They're just Primark ones, they're nothing special. But they just finish off every look for me. Um, and they give me that wow factor that I look for in my makeup. It makes my smile a little bit wider. Curl them first. Try not to pull all of my eyelashes out. Also, don't pull your eyelashes out. I don't think they grow back. I cut my eyelashes when I was like 11 and I'm sure one side is shorter than the other. Which is funny because people always tell me my eyelashes are naturally long. The other thing you should do is wait for your eyeliner to dry properly because otherwise you end up taking some of it off. Um, tweezers. There you are. <laughs> it's so good that the tweezers are a different colour to everything else in that bag because otherwise we'd be here all night. So, yeah. These ones first. I'm also staring at my open palette and thinking I'm going to add some brown to the under of my eye as well. Just lightly. And I'm only thinking it right now. If you've seen the other videos, you know that I'm only thinking it. It probably won't end up happening because I'll forget because I'll get distracted by something shiny. Like my eyelids, look how shiny they are. There's so much glitter. But anyways, as I was doing, yeah. Okay. So I put it on the middle to start off with and then I put it down the front and the end. Let's try it again with the other ones. That looks like a nasty clump of glue. That is not going to sit well. Make sure they've got a bit of a bend in them as well. Oh no. Stick. Let them dry. Again. My eyelashes are not on perfectly. Um, if you look really careful, uh, if you look really carefully, there will be a separation between them. Um, but I'm going to squeeze them on with tweezers and add a little bit of mascara to them as well. Um, and I hope they look as natural as they can do being fake eyelashes. Um, okay, let's have a look. See, so as you can see, separation here between my eyelashes and these lashes. Can't see the side too well because of the lighting. They're fine, but there is a dodgy eyelash over here. And I am not going to snip it off because that is bad. It could be my own lash. Um, so, tweezers first of all. This feels like it should be pretty dry. And I'm just going to squeeze the eyelashes together. Being careful not to catch any glue on the tweezers because I will rip these eyelashes off or even worse, my own. Okay. And a bit of mascara. Bad idea taking music out. It's like I needed to hear myself more, but I need to hear my own voice less. I can't even watch my own videos. <laughs> I can, I do, I have to before I put it up, but not right now, okay. Just touch, 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 touch. 
the bottom ones touch 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 <laughs> I've done it before where the eyelashes at the bottom look thicker than on my eyelashes on the top that upsets me again your own style do whatever makes you happy um, I did say I was going to do some brown at the bottom and I think I'm actually going to listen to myself this time so making sure this brush that I've used the moisturiser on is less moisturised. Nice angled brush. And I'm going to go for the brown that's in the very corner up here. Just a light, a light touch on it. A dab and dab. And I'm going to just close to my eyelash line as possible. Blend it out a little bit more. And then the other side. Okay. And that's it. That's me finished with the sunset eyes. I think they look really good. And I hope that you can enjoy having a bit of a play with it. Um, I'll add the link to get this Top Beauty palette in the description again, because it's just amazing. And if it works for you, let me know. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do better in these videos. Um, I'll try and stay calmer <sighs> and try to stay focused. <laughs> um, but if this makes you smile, that's me. I've done my job. And if you can smile at a stranger for me, I know it sounds strange, but it is contagious. And you have no idea what someone's going through. You know, you have no idea if their fridge has broken and their kitchen has flooded all in the same day. And that's why they look like they've got a slapped ass. But if you can smile at them, they're going to return that favour at some point during the day, even if it's not to you. But stay positive, stay smiling and get rid of those negative thoughts because shade never made anybody less gay.